That day, Ivalice was at the airport when she saw a man crying profusely as he was forced to throw a package into the trash. When she dug it up, she discovered something heartbreaking. The day Ivalice Hernandez was to partake in history looked ordinary. It started just like any other day for her. On this particular day, she was on a business trip. Escorting her to the airport was her boyfriend, Ricky, who was driving the car beside her. It took a while for them to find a parking space, but after a few minutes of struggle, they were able to get out of the car and hurry over to where she could clear her ticket. However, when she got there, she met a queue that was quite long. Worried, she checked the time on her wristwatch, but saw that she had gotten there early enough and there was still time. So pulling her box along, she and Ricky took their places at the end of the line. As she waited patiently for her turn at the counter, she and Ricky chatted happily. It was a bittersweet moment for the couple because they were going to miss each other very much. But this trip was very important for Ivalice and Ricky couldn't go with her, so they had to be parted for one week. As the queue progressed slowly, Ivalice stopped talking mid-sentence as she realized that something was wrong. All around her, everyone was looking at the queue she was standing on and the reason wasn't far-fetched. There was a commotion at the head of the queue. The airport officials were struggling with a man who was clutching a parcel close to his chest as they tried to stop him from rejoining the queue. Their raised voices carried over the distance and Ivalice could hear the officials telling him that he couldn't take the package past the checkpoint. Such packages weren't allowed on the plane. However, the man begged them to allow him to take it with him. The more they disagreed, the harder he begged. They told him to throw the package in the trash or he wasn't going to get past that point and as a result would miss his flight. Ivalice's mouth fell open in shock as she saw the man begin to cry as he begged the officials. He told them that the package was very important and he couldn't bear to part with them. However, the officials insisted that it was against airport policy and that the only way he was getting on the flight was by trashing the package. At that point, the man gripped the package hard as he stared at it. He shook his head as tears streamed down his face. He just couldn't bring himself to throw it away like that. He decided to try again. He pleaded with the officials to at least place the package in lost and found. At least that way, he would be able to get back to it at a later date. At that point, it was as if he was talking to a stone wall because the officials remained adamant. The man checked this time and saw that if he continued arguing with them, he was going to miss his flight. So he wiped his tears and without another word, made his way to the trash and threw the package in. There was a dull thud as it fell in, and the lid slammed shut. His eyes filled up with tears once again, and he wiped them as he hurried off past the checkpoint. The officials didn't stop him as he made his way through. As he hurried away, Ivalice couldn't take her eyes off him until he was obscured from view. She couldn't help but wonder what could possibly be in the package that the man was so attached to. She knew very well that it had to be important to him, because that was the only reason he wanted to take it so badly. But then the fact that the officials also insisted he trashed it made her suspect the package contained something dangerous and couldn't be allowed on the plane. As she moved slowly down the queue, she couldn't get it out of her mind. As she got closer to where she would clear her ticket, she realized that she really wanted to know what the package contained. If she left the airport without finding out, she knew that the mystery was going to bug her for a long time afterward. However, since she was almost at the counter, she couldn't go get it herself, so she asked Ricky to help her out. Ricky was shocked by the request. He couldn't understand what her fascination with the strange man's package was. At first, he refused to go, but when she kept asking him, he decided to indulge her. Just as the cashier at the counter started clearing Ivalice's ticket, he looked around to make sure that no one was staring at him. Then he hurried across the lobby, trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. He made his way to the trash can and looked in. Sure enough, the package was right there. Without another furtive glance around him, he picked it up and walked calmly back to his girlfriend. He made his footsteps slow and sure so he wouldn't draw attention to himself. When he returned, Ivalice was still busy at the checkout but a few minutes later she was done. She smiled heartily at him when she saw that he had the package. She felt a lurch in her chest and wanted to open it there and then. However, she knew that it wasn't a smart move. She didn't have enough time because of her flight. She took the package from him and judged its weight. It felt heavy. It was also bulky and the wrapping was thick, so she couldn't even guess what it was. As she studied the package, she felt a bit of fear creep up her spine 
The package could be anything at all. It could be something dangerous. After all, there had to be a valid reason for the officials to refuse it. However, she shook off the fear and handed it back to Ricky. She asked them to take it home and keep it for her. She said that she would look at it when she returned from her trip. Once again, Ricky was hesitant and she could tell by the look on his face. However, she assured him that it was all safe and it couldn't be all that bad. She said that the fact that the package meant so much to the man, it had to have some level of value, and she was going to find out everything about it. As the time for her flight drew nearer, she kissed Ricky goodbye and then made her way through security. And with a wave, she was on her way. Right from time, Ivelisse had always been an inquisitive person. She loved the unknown and she loved finding out new things. One of her hobbies was solving puzzles, and it was something she could do for a long time without ever getting tired. Her curiosity had almost gotten her into trouble many times, but just as well they had blessed her with countless opportunities that she had taken advantage of. However, the most prominent one was the fact that her curiosity was responsible for her lifestyle. It was what made her famous. She had a large following on social media and she always shared her discoveries online, no matter how little they seemed. Her fans loved the new things she uncovered and they also loved the way she took them through the process of solving the mysteries. And thankfully, the world was full of mysteries, so she could never run out of them. The trip she was going on now was also one of curiosity. Ricky was busy at work or he would have gone along with her, and she was hoping to solve her mystery before she returned home. The trip was only scheduled to last a week, and she hoped that she would get everything done by then so she could return. The reason she had chosen to pick up the package had been out of pure curiosity at first, but then the more she thought about it, the more she remembered the way the man had cried when he was forced to part with it. She knew then that she couldn't only satisfy her curiosity. She could do much more and try to help the man. Time flew by so fast and before long, a week had gone by. All through, Ivelisse couldn't stop thinking of the package that she had left in the care of her boyfriend. Many times when she thought about the risk she had taken by having him take a mysterious package home, she wondered if it wasn't a terrible mistake. After all, it had been foolish for her to send it home without first checking to see what was inside. But then, she pushed such thoughts away and focused on what she was doing right until she returned. When Ivelisse got home, she wasted no time at all in unwrapping the package. With Ricky beside her, she took the package to the dining table and tore the package open. As she slowly pulled back the thick layers of protection, her heart was beating loudly in her chest. Eventually, she got through all the wrappers and her hands slowly dropped to her sides as she saw what she had picked up at the airport. They were snow globes. They were two beautiful globes that filled up with snow as she lifted them and studied them. They were quite unique because when she studied them, she saw that one of the globes had a picture of an elderly couple smiling at the camera. The other globe had a picture as well, but it was of a little child posed with a cute dog. It was such a beautiful thing, looking at the pictures through the hail of snow in the globe. Ivelisse just couldn't help herself. She felt her heart melt just by watching it. As she studied the globes further, she saw an inscription that said that it was a gift to welcome the recipient. However, there was no name to see who it was addressed to. Now that she had opened up the package, she could hazard a guess about what had really happened at the airport. The man she had seen had been charged with taking the globes to their rightful owners, but the officials had stopped him because the globes were made of glass, not just any glass, thin glass that wasn't all that strong. Taking such things onto the plane was a risk because at the slightest pressure applied, the glass would immediately shatter and that could cause injuries to the passengers. Now that she thought about it, it all made sense to her. She could vividly remember how the man had been crying simply because he didn't want to leave the globes behind. She guessed that it belonged to someone that mattered a lot to him and due to the airport policy, he had not been able to take it. She could have decided then to end it all, but she chose to keep her word. She was going to help reunite the globes with their owner. Ivelis knew that finding the man on her own was impossible, so she decided to ask for help from her fans and followers online. She took pictures of the globes and uploaded them on her Facebook. In the caption, she talked all about how she came to be in the possession of the globes and why it was important for them to be returned to their rightful owners. And to her shock, the pictures went viral. Everyone was touched by her kindness and they also loved how cute the globes were. They liked and shared the pictures, spreading them all over the internet for even more eyes to see. 
As the comments poured in under the post, Ivoli sifted through them like a hawk, trying to see if any of them would have a clue for her. As days passed, she found nothing, and it was as if despite the pictures going viral, she wasn't going to make any headway. But a week later, things took a brisk turn. An employee of a store called Things Remembered saw the post on Facebook and she recognized the globes. She was certain that they had been purchased at their store because she was the one who sold them herself. However, no matter how hard she thought about it, she couldn't remember who she sold it to. So she went through the store's sales records. She knew that whoever bought the globe would have gotten a receipt, and the receipt would have their phone number. She spent the better part of an hour searching through the sales of the past weeks until she finally found what she was looking for. With a whop of joy, she saw the woman who had bought the globes from the store. Her name was Linda Modry. At once, the employee sent Ivelisse a private message and shared the number with her. Ivelisse thanked her profusely. This was finally the clue she had been waiting for. That very day, she contacted Linda and they had a long discussion that brought tears to Ivelisse's eyes. Linda was one half of the elderly couple in the picture. All they had wanted was to give their granddaughter Katie a gift, but things had gone awry. Their son, the man Ivelisse had seen at the airport, had tried to get the globes through, but nothing he tried worked. Linda told her that he had even gone to another airline just so he could travel with the globes, but that didn't work as well. In the end, he was forced to trash it. Linda told her that the gift was very important for her granddaughter because she became a member of the family only recently. Linda's son had adopted her in January of that year, and with her birthday coming up, Linda and her husband wanted Katie to know that she was loved and welcome in the family. However, the inevitable had occurred. When Katie learned that the globes had been lost, she was devastated because she had been looking forward to the gifts from her grandparents. However, Linda was overjoyed that despite everything that happened, they were getting the globes back. She couldn't believe that a total stranger had gone to such lengths just to return a gift, and she was very happy about it. Ivelisse told her not to worry and asked for her address. As luck would have it, Linda lived only about 30 minutes away. With the globe safe in her back seat, Ivelisse drove over to Linda's house and personally handed the globes over. Unable to hold herself, the elderly woman hugged her and thanked her all over again. Linda said that it was the happiest ending that she could hope for, and she promised Ivelisse that she would take it to Ohio herself to give to Katie. The little girl's birthday was coming up next month and she and her husband were going to make sure the globes were properly packaged this time around. Ivelisse was so happy. She took pictures with Linda and the globes, and when she posted them, she poured out her heart in the post. This became even more viral because the globes had finally gotten to the original owner, and it was only a matter of time before they found themselves in the hands of little Katie. This was only possible through the power of the internet. The snow globes that had been condemned to the trash managed to find their way back to their owner. Ivelisse was so proud of herself. She knew that she would never have accomplished what she did without the support of her fans and followers. They were the ones who had shared the pictures aggressively until they got results. And she realized then the kind of power she wielded. Along with her followers, she could do quite a lot of good on the internet. That was a great responsibility, and she promised herself never to use it for ills. Instead, she promised to do more things like she just did. She would use her platform to make people happy and also spread love and peace. That would be an achievement. What a beautiful story. Who could have known Ivelisse would find the owners of the globe? What would you have done in our shoes? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.